that you're making another Terminator movie. Yes. Ah, like, there are? Well, I can neither confirm nor, nor deny, deny okay. that there might be Linda Hamilton coming back to kick some serious ass. Yeah! I can't confirm that. You or can't deny. Afford or deny. How about can you confirm nor deny uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger? I can confirm nor deny that. <laughs> wow, <too>. really? <laughs> uh, that, how, how do you have time to do all of that? And the, the, I mean, the Avatar two and three. It's yeah. yes, yes. Avatar two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, are but you, seriously? Seriously, are you really? they're all written, and we've done the the capture. The have you done Avatar four as well? We're working on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to make this video, but I saw today a video posted by, I think the channel is called Elite Battle Angel, and he had he had linked to a video, um, an interview by, I think it was Jimmy Kimmel, it wasn't Jimmy Fallon, one of those guys, and they were inter interviewing James Cameron. And in that video, or in the interview, James Cameron was talking about um, Alita, but he also discussed some things about Avatar. And one of the things that he said about Avatar is that he had, he was seriously, not even, not was seriously, he had already began um, or written out four, like four or five Avatar movies. And so this wasn't just him just thinking about it, uh, mulling it around. He had seriously already done it and of course I, I'm looking at Alita thinking um, I had already suspected that he had more than one film written out but to me I think it's just more likely considering that he, he would write so many Avatar movies that it's more likely that he already has the at least I would say a trilogy for Alita written out but I remember one one time he mentioned possibly having even more than three movies. I don't think we would ever we would ever get to that point, but I, it wouldn't surprise me if he had written out that much. And considering that he had so much written for Avatar, and the script for Alita, his original script was like six hundred pages, uh, that leads me to believe that he had plenty of material left over for um, multiple movies, and that he's also capable of writing. Um, an entire trilogies or quadrilogies or whatever you want to call those. Um, so I, I think the likelihood that he doesn't even have to work on a script for the sequel, but merely simply just go into production um, is, is very high. And the reason why I'm, I'm bringing this up is because people know that I've been kind of pushing for 2021 for the Alita sequel. And that part of that is just me being um, a little, I'm, I'm, ha I'm a half serious because I don't really expect us to get the sequel that early, but it never, in my opinion, it doesn't hurt to push. It doesn't hurt to, to, to let them know how um, excited I am for the sequel and how quickly I want the sequel. So I, I don't mind saying 2021. And, and if you ask me, that's a reasonable date. And I think, uh, or a reasonable time period, and I give my reasons for that in this video. Um, but is it rushing him? Is it when I'm when I'm tweeting at uh, Jim Cameron or Robert Rodriguez and saying stuff like, uh, uh, you know, 2021, you know, let's let's get the Alita sequel? No, is that is that rushing him? I wouldn't say that, you know, because I'm just a guy on the internet, you know. Jim Cameron, he's not going to listen to me. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't give a crap what I say. Uh, you know, he's not going to make a business decision off of what one person says. But uh, you know, it, it doesn't hurt to let him know that I, I, that people really want the sequel that early. But I, I'll explain why I think it's not so unreasonable to expect the movie to be able to be done so quickly. All right. So as I had said before um alita had well not alita but i'm actually thinking about terminator i can't remember which video i mentioned it in but i said that the terminator movie was due to be in theater by november sometime around then and i think cameron has a habit of working on two movies at once uh, at least from what i have noticed 
So I was thinking that November time period after after Terminator is already in the theater, that would be a good opportunity for him to begin begin work on the next um, on the next Alita movie. Because once the let's just go back to uh, this this current movie that we have, this Alita Battle Angel movie. Once this was in theater, he had already immediately sort of jumped onto the next Avatar movie. And so but while he was working on Alita, he was wo also working on the Terminator movie. So now that Alita is finished, he's on Avatar. And so when Terminator is finished, I think it's possible he'll jump on the next Alita. So in this, I'm going to read from Wikipedia here. And usually, you know, I wouldn't say that Wikipedia is the best resource, but given all the articles that we've read about Alita from the various sources and and being able to check them against each other, uh, after reading this Wikipedia um, entry, I can say that the for the most part it seems to be pretty accurate, and which is surprising because a lot of the news articles that we have, a lot of the, the things that the journalists and the media are pushing out there contradict what's in Wikipedia <laughs> and, and what's easily um, researchable, like s things such as James Cameron holding the rights to, to the Alita um, property and not Disney and not Fox, but, but James Cameron being the rights holder. These things are actually not difficult to find and they are on wikipedia also so that really leads me to believe that these journalists are intentionally giving misinformation when they say that the the possibility for uh, an elite sequel is in disney's hands or that the best option that we that J cameron might have is to work with disney on a streaming um disney plus streaming service or whatever a series and when you when you see how easily locatable this information is it really lends to the belief that these people are intentionally putting out lies and misinformation but without going on too long let's just read some of the things from this wikipedia entry Originally announced in 2003, production on the release of the film was reportedly delayed due to Cameron's work on Avatar and its sequels. After years of, of the film languishing in development hell, Rodriguez was announced as the film director in April 2016, with Salazar being cast the following month. Principal photography began in Austin, Texas, um, mostly at Rodriguez's Troublemaker Studios in October 2016 lasting through February 2017. Um, 2016 is when they began the principal photography. Now, as we know, the movie was actually released in February um, 24, no, not 20, 2019, February 14, 2019, but it was originally scheduled. I'm just going to scroll down to... All right, so in late May 2016, Fox scheduled the film for a July... 20 2018 release date and it was actually due but it got pushed back for various reasons um i think the film was ready by then but i think they you know they probably went back to make some touch-ups or whatever but for the most part they when they got pushed back to delay i mean to uh, december it got delayed to december that was just to keep the movie out of this ter territory where you had spider-verse and um, Aquaman, just these other huge movies, or the, especially these movies who turned out to be huge, um, were, were also situated. So that they had to get a lead away from that and give it a little bit more room to breathe. And unfortunately, it wasn't quite enough room to breathe because in March, Captain Marvel was debuting and Disney was going to do everything that it could to make sure that there was not going to be any competition for Captain Marvel. So Alita got hit by that but the whole thing is the movie began pre-production in october 2016 and was due to be in the theater by um july 2018 so that's actually less than two years from principal photography to the release in the theater so as i said um if the movie had began 
Alita 2, I'm talking about, if Alita 2 had began production, or does begin production in, let's say, November or December 2019, then my hope, you know, my my earliest hope would be a late 2021 release. Uh, I'm not talking like January, I'm talking like late, like December, November, December 2021, or, you know, maybe even early 2022, like January 2022. I don't think that's completely unreasonable. I don't think that's rushing it. I don't think that's really um, going to bring us an inferior product because I do believe that Cameron has more than one story already written out. And um, Robert Rodriguez is obviously the, the correct guy to direct the movie. And they can do this just like they did the first movie in less than two years. Now, there was one other thing that I wanted to share with you. Oh, two other things, actually. I'll come back to the Panama City thing later. But first, I just want to... Um, all right, so let's see here. I think I'll start at Landau. Okay, Landau also revealed that screenwriter Leda Calogridis, Calogridis had worked on writing the film. In August 2019, Cameron stated that the film was still on his radar, but he didn't know when he would make it. However, that October, he confirmed that his next films would be the two Avatar sequels instead of Alita Battle Angel. He still stated that he did and he did not intend to abandon the film, stating that he loved the project too much to hand it off to another director. That right there tells you that James Cameron is not just looking at this as a... Uh, from from financial perspective, he's not just looking to make a franchise to make money off of it. This is something that is near and dear to his heart, and he would rather not make the film than let somebody else do it incorrectly or or even do it inc incorrectly himself. And so, it's not it wasn't about the money in the first place to him. But that just also says something about the fact that he let Robert Rodriguez take it because that shows just how impressed he was with the work Robert Rodriguez did on the script and then showing him that he was the right guy to take this job. So I think we can um, be confident that the the sequel would be, you know, there wouldn't be any delay from, from not having a director because we have Rodriguez. On to the second thing that I wanted to show you in a February, let me just scroll up here so you can see it easier. In a February 2019 interview, Cameron revealed that he set the floating city of Zalem in Panama, specifically Panama City. He explained that the city, that the city Zalem is not floating, but hanging from a space elevator, which would only work physically near the equator. As a result of the new location, Iron City was designed with a Spanish signage and Latin American architecture. So he's definitely thinking about the sequel. He's not, um, I don't, yeah, this is not a, just a one shot deal if he's already setting up locations for the second movie. Now, th there's one more thing actually that, that I'm reminded of that I wanted to share, and it has something to do with the, the budget. And this is something that you already know, but since uh, it's here, I think I'll just show it again. And that is. The release, the, uh, I'm going to go down to the amount of money that was actually on box office. Okay. As of April 16, 2019, Alita Battle Angel has crossed $85.5 million in the United States and Canada, $318.3 million in other territories for a worldwide total of $403.8 million against a production budget of $170 million. Estimates vary for the total worldwide gross the film needs in order to break even with Fox Insider stating 350 million but outside financial publications pegging the amount at 400 to 500 million now um once again i think it's kind of interesting that wikipedia even <laughs> even wikipedia has the 350 number from the Fox Insiders which would i don't i don't see any reason for them to lie about that number uh, I mean, if it was going, if it was four hundred million or five hundred million, then why, why on earth wouldn't they just admit that that's what it was? 
Uh, so I, I really do believe that that number is accurate. That's the number that they said that they needed. And um, this this 500 million number, which was the other number that, that was cited, no, it was called, what did they say? They said this was from Rival Studios um, and Outside Analysts. Those were the two, um, quote, sources of this $500 million number. Um, I think it's safe to say that Alita is going to get close to that, you know, after the home video sales and the streaming and the merchandise and all the other stuff. I'm pretty sure to get to that, around that number. But it's above $400 million already. So what's the real obstacle then for a sequel? Uh, I don't think there really is one. And in my opinion, it could be done in two years, which is a late 2021 or early 2022. But then again, once again, that's just me being kind of, um, I guess you could say a little bit impatient and maybe too hopeful, a little bit unreasonable. It's possible. It's definitely possible. So I'm not crazy, but I just think, you know, it's more likely it will be somewhere between 2022 and 2023, but I'm hoping, still hoping, 20, late 2021, early 2022. That's what I'm hoping. But so anyway, that's all that I wanted to share with you. So thank you all for watching.